Hi there. I'm Kisi Katika, and this is Roll Call. I'm going to pick some. Let's get to it. Roll with the best costumes. There's quite a few that have been exceedingly aesthetically pleasing, but quite a few that didn't fit, or I had to bring in most of my costume pieces. So I gotta go with Singing in the Rain. That was quite a favorite. I had, I believe, four costumes, approximately. I was a basically newsboy, but in reality a camera person. Camera woman, I think we decided, even though it's the cameraman. I was a showgirl and our costumes were made out of swimsuits so that was pretty cool they were like specially made for each of us with a little pocket for the candies and two beautiful period uh pieces and probably something else that i'm not remembering oh yes also we had the broadway rhythm broadway melody costume. Yeah. That was a good show. They all fit. I think that's all I'm going to say about that. Role my family loved the most. That's going to be Animal Crackers. I played Arabella Rittenhouse, the debutante. Probably the biggest role that I've played in recent history. And a lot of my family came to see it. I'm also pretty proud of that one. It was a little bit chaotic, but it was crazy fun. And I got to do everything that I liked. There was lots of dancing, lots of singing, tapping, some some partner work, scene work. Yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty fun. Role I totally nailed. Well, I don't know about that, but gotta say, felt pretty confident in Pippin. I was an aerialist. I opened the show with our uh, Theo wandering onto the stage, and then I went straight up into the sky. There's actually footage of it on YouTube, and I was one of two freshman girls. This was a high school show. But yeah, that was a pretty awesome experience, and I felt like a badass, because I was like, not expecting to get in, let alone be able to start the show and do Ariel and yeah, that was, that was a ride. Real life felt like a badass in. Uh, Charlene in Bless Your Heart. Funny enough, she's a preacher's daughter very prim and proper but this was a straight play world premiere and just felt really right yeah roll that kicked my ass uh, dance ensemble in mama mia I did Mamma Mia again right after that, and this one definitely prepared me because our choreography was like a dance boot camp. Not that it was extremely difficult, but it was just so much of it and singing all the time. Because if you don't know that show too well, <laughs> the Broadway version is just nonstop ensemble backup vocals, and you often will have a like singing ensemble separately and they won't be dancing while singing or just some sort of like backup vocals. We did it all live. We were singing in every number and we weren't dancing in every number, but the numbers that we were dancing in, we were dancing hard. Ooh, ooh. There were lifts, but it was super. Didn't expect the show to be as hard as it was. Saying something. Rola was funniest in. Where is she? Jack's mom. Jack's mom and Into the Woods. 
I wasn't extremely excited about playing that role, but I felt like I did her as much justice as a 13-year-old could do. Uh, got quite a few laughs, felt pretty good about myself, and ended up winning an award. So that was cool. Why do I still sing in the shower? I don't know about roles that I still sing in the shower, but recently I've been singing me some Footloose. Not an Ethel song, surprisingly enough. Oh my gosh, what was my song? I've been singing Almost Paradise. I don't know if there's any other roles that I... I guess you could say falsettas, falsettas. I do love a good breaking down. These are the games that I play. That's not the same, it's not the role you... I get, it's, I've been singing falsettos and footloose. Two Fs. <laughs> but that's not their grade, because they're great. <sighs> but yeah, those are two, two singing moments that I return to. Shows, roles, whatever you want to call it. Role I was wrong for. Where is she? Hairspray. Camilla. A dynamite. Depending on how well you know the show, you may know that the dynamites are not white. For any of you who don't know Hairspray intimately, I was a dynamite and the dynamites are not usually white. They are the sassy, brassy girl group. Doo-wop girls, 60s. I mean, you've probably seen something here. Why am I explaining this to you? It's the girl group that the white girls steal the songs from. Songs? I, there probably was just one, but yeah, I was, I was that. <laughs> ah. It was fun and it fit into our show because we didn't do it as traditionally done, which was super fun, but not something that I would recommend. I look forward to the day of colorblind, genderblind, everything blind, just talent-based casting, but that's not where we are right now. And we need some more representation, so this could have only happened at a school. But it was actually really fun, and we made it more of a gang thing. Quite honestly, we should have just done West Side Story, story or like any other show. But we didn't. So I got to play Dynamite and Hairspray. Woo! Role I wish more people had seen. I'm gonna go with Violet in The Sisterhood, which was a... some sort of filmed short movie or episodic situation. I was one of the writers on it. I have zero recollection of it and I'm pretty sure I never actually saw the finished product. So yeah, I, I guess I wish I saw it. And so therefore also more people, but it was extremely fun to shoot. I did it with two of my two or three of my best friends at the time, and we wrote a whole story and got a bunch of our friends involved to film it over a weekend, and I did the costumes, and looking back, also, I learned a lot, and I could have been more productive. I could have helped more if I had been more outspoken. So, what I'd love to do again I wish that's the show I'd love to do again, because quite honestly, I would 
do most of these shows again. But a role that I'd love to do again. Eliza in Hamilton's, which was a student run directed cabaret that started out as a we want to do Hamilton, but the rights aren't available yet. So I played Eliza and in later variations, Jenna from Waitress and Natalie in Next to Normal. And I'd, I'd like to do that experience again. I know we would just have so much fun. And that's my roll call. You know what's hilarious? There's like Violet, Violet, Violet. Why? Oh. Here's my little thing. Pretty much any time that I have gotten to name my character, it's Violet, Violet, Violet. There's got to be a Violet or two in here. Violet. And I also played Violet in A Christmas Carol. There goes nothing. That didn't look cool.